Hey, I've been reading the newspaper this morning, and I came across this article here. Kelly penalizes mosques' failure to tack a, tackle terror. And what she's saying is basically there's a problem right now because the government doesn't know who to talk to, who doesn't know which group represents Islam. The group that they have been using is called the Muslim Council of Britain. Iqbal Sakrani used to be the leader. Uh, it's now Muhammad Abdul Bari is now the leader, and Iniat Bangalawada is also the deputy leader. They're the ones that really represent that Muslim Council of Britain. The problem is that they're not following the government line. They are not following the government line when it comes to the Holocaust uh, Memorial. They refuse to go to that. Uh, they have been criticizing the government for all its foreign policy. And probably most troubling is they've been criticizing the police for their supposed bungled, uh, bungled errors concerning what happened in Forest Gate. What was, is, very, is very apparent is that they are not at all helping the, the government. And so the government's got a problem. Who are they going to use? If they aren't going to use the Muslim Council of Britain, what other group exists? Now, underlying all this is the problem of the separation of church and state. And I'm not going to get into that now. That's a huge problem. I'll deal with it another time. I feel sorry for the government. Because there's nothing that the Muslim Council of Britain really can do. They have to be true to their own constituency, all of whom are Muslims that are very concerned with what's happening over there in Iraq and Afghanistan, what's happening in Kashmir and Bosnia and Chechnya and all these other places. They take it personally. At the same time, they've also got to be able to come to their people and try to help them understand what the government's saying. But invariably, they're going to take the side of their own constituents. And that's why they have been refusing to really been following the party line the Labour Party line. Who else is going to represent them? Where are they going to go? Now they throw out the MCB, who else is going to be there? There is no other group. Because no other group dare go back on what they know they consider to be true, and that is what they consider to be the needs and the interests of the Muslim community here. The Muslim community will always be at odds with the government. Well, there's, and there's lots of reasons why. I don't have time to get in today. Because everything they do is their religion. And therefore, uh, religion, bringing the two together, has created this problem. I feel sorry for the government. I feel sorry for the MCB. I don't know what this whole solution is. The beauty of it is I don't have this problem as a Christian. Because we don't take and we don't have a difficulty with a separation of church. We separate the two. And therefore, we don't take every conflict that's happening around the world personally. We don't bring it into our own front bedroom. I'm sorry, into our front living room. I leave you Muslims to come up with an answer. I'd like to hear what you're going to do with this. And if the MCB is failing, who else do you have to replace them? Where can the government look? And who is going to be representing you? It'd be great to see what you're going to say.